Today we are working on the cognitive stages of development. My name is Natalie Flores and this is my assistant. Hi Montana. And we were we are going to demonstrate the task of conservation of volume. Hannah Montana, I have a question for you. Can you tell me if this cup has the same water as that cup or if one has more water than the other? They both have the same amount? They both have the same amount? Okay. Now I'm going to take another cup. Replace that cup with this bigger cup. Now, can you tell me if one cup has more water than the other or if they have the same amount? They both have the same amount. How can you tell? Because um, that you, you just there was you know, this water was in that cup and there was the same amount and then you poured it in this cup. So because that water was in that cup, you can tell that they had the same amount because that cup had the same amount as that one. And then this one's fat. That one's fat. What does that mean? It means this is not the same amount. This cup and this cup. This cup. It is skinny and this one's fatter. So that means the water goes down because the other cup is fatter? So they have the same amount, correct? Okay. Now we are moving on to the living room where we will demonstrate other tasks of conservation. Sit right there. And we are going to start off with length. So can you tell me if these are the same length or is, if one is longer than the other? They're both the same size. Okay, now if I move that one in that direction, can you tell me which one is longer? They're both the same. They're both the same? How do you know? Because you just bring that one down. I just brought it down? But it ends further away. What does that mean? If you bring this back up where it was, it would be the same size. Oh, show me. There. Oh, you're so correct. You surprised me, Hannah Montana. Thank you. Now, we are going to demonstrate conservation of mass. So, you see this big clump of Play-Doh, right? If I split it in two, can you tell me if these two measure up as the same ball that you saw in the first place? Or they both are the same. They're both the same? How do you know if they're two different pieces? How can you tell? If you bring them back together, they'll, um, they'll, it'll look the same. Uh-huh. Like uh, the, the same other, as what? The same as the other ball. The first ball? Okay, let me see. So what if I break this up into, let's say, three pieces? Um, would these three pieces equal... The same as this half? Yes. Would these four pieces together now, would they be bigger, smaller, or the same as the original ball? The same as the original ball. How do you know? Because if you put them together, um, it's gonna look like a ball. But there's so many more pieces now. Is it the same thing? 
You think? Yeah. Yeah? Show me. Okay. Looks like the same ball to me, right? Okay. Now we're going to deal with conservation in numbers. So, we have coins here. So, can you tell me if one line has more coins than the other or if they're the same? They're both the same. They're both the same? How do you know? for a quick second. And don't look until I tell you. <coughs> Hannah Montana. Okay, when I tell you to open your eyes, take a look, but not too long. <laughs> take a look and tell me which line has more coins. Open your eyes. They both have the same amount? Yes. How can you tell? Because 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But this line is shorter than that side, so how do they have the same amount? If you put them together. But what if they weren't together? Like right now. Like why? Why is this line bigger than that one? Because he separated them. Oh, okay. Thank you, Hannah Montana, for your help. You've been such a great assistant. And that's how we explain the cognitive levels of development. Thank you, Hannah Montana.